School has been so hard. All we've been learning about is different types of rock. I love rock! I love rock and roll! It's my favorite music! No, Quinn, I'm talking about hard rock. Yeah! Oh. I love hard rock, too! And classic rock, grunge rock, 80s rock, 90s rock, soft rock. I love it all! No, Gus, I'm talking about hard rock. You mean... <laughs> yes, Gus, that's the rock I'm talking about. I think we should learn about rocks. <laughs> Geology is the study of rocks, and people who study rocks are called geologists. They study what minerals each rock contains and also study the history of the earth. So what exactly is a rock? A rock is a solid composed by different minerals that are crystalline or other mineral-like materials that have been joined together into a solid chunk. A crystalline mineral is something made of crystals and even looks like crystals. Each rock has different minerals. That is why there are so many different rocks. And rocks are not man-made. They are only made by natural processes that glued them all together. Rocks come in all shapes and sizes. Some rocks are hard, some are easy to scratch, and some crumble easy. Some can even hold water while others let water flow through them. And rocks can change by chemical and physical weathering. There are three different types of rock. They are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks are created by volcanoes. When a volcano erupts, it spits out hot, molten rock. This is called magma, otherwise known as lava. Eventually, the lava cools down and hardens when it reaches the Earth's surface or somewhere within the Earth's crust. And this hardened lava is igneous rock. Scientists have named over 700 types of igneous rock. If the magma has cooled on the Earth's surface or beneath is what makes the difference between the different types of igneous rock. If it has cooled beneath the Earth's surface, it is called plutonic rock. It is volcanic rock if it has cooled above the surface. And some examples of volcanic rock are basalt, obsidian, and pumice. And these are also called extrusive igneous rock. When magma cools and hardens beneath the surface, it takes much longer. And this is called an intrusive igneous rock, and they are usually grainy and rough. Examples of intrusive igneous rocks are granite and gabbro. 95% of the Earth's crust is made of igneous rock. Sedimentary rocks are the most common rocks on our planet, and they are made up of layers of things like sand, mud, and even smaller stones. Sedimentary rock forms in layers that were laid down on top of each other. Over the years, the bottom layers flatten more and more as new layers get added to the top. Some types of sedimentary rock are chalk, sandstone, shale, and limestone. And sedimentary rock forms on or towards the very top of the Earth's surface. Some of the layers can be thin, and some others can be thick. And layers are made by the deposition of sediment, organic matter, and chemical elements. Usually something like a stream or river will take lots of small pieces of rocks and minerals to a bigger body of water. And these pieces sink to the bottom 
and over thousands or even millions of years will form into a solid rock. Did you know that fossils are usually hmm? found in sedimentary rock? Fossils? What are fossils? I think they have to be something with dinosaurs. Sounds like you don't know. I... Do you know? Maybe we should find out on a future video soon. Yep. And fossils found in different layers of sedimentary rock help scientists to determine the age of the fossil and many other things about how it used to live. Now let's learn about metamorphic rock. And metamorphic rocks are created from being put under a lot of pressure as well as heat. The pressure and heat is made by the Earth's movements. Metamorphic rocks begin as igneous or sedimentary rocks, but are transformed by extreme pressure and heat. They are commonly found inside the Earth's crust. What kind of crust? Like pie crust? No, just said Earth's crust. Are you I listening? bet that doesn't taste good. It tastes like rock and dirt. Probably. Well, Gus, inside the Earth's crust, there is enough heat and pressure to form the metamorphic rocks. Two examples of metamorphic rock are slate and marble. Marble started out as sedimentary rock called sandstone and then became a metamorphic rock. Rocks can change from one type to another through something known as a rock cycle. And there is no exact process for a rock cycle, but it takes millions of years for the rocks to actually change. Here is how a rock can change from igneous to sedimentary to metamorphic over the years. First, a volcano explodes and shoots out lava. It then cools down and forms an igneous rock like we learned about earlier. Next, a river and many other events slowly break this rock up into smaller pieces of sediment. And as the sediment builds up, it hardens over years. Then we have a sedimentary rock. Gradually, this sediment rock gets covered with other rocks and ends up buried in the Earth's crust. And as the pressure and heat gets strong enough, this sedimentary rock changes into a metamorphic rock. These rocks can change from one type to another and back again in almost any order. Hey, guess what? Have you ever seen a shooting star? Well, did you know it's actually a bit of space rock entering the atmosphere called a meteorite? Meteorites are usually made up mostly of iron. Iron! Iron! iron. iron. <laughs> she got it! Oh my goodness. So you might be wondering, why are rocks and minerals important? Well, for millions of years, rocks have been very useful. Humans actually used to rely on them millions of years ago to make tools as well as weapons. Nowadays, we use them to build things like houses, cars, and even airplanes. Kind of like the one that's going overhead as we're filming this. And did you know that rocks are found in some of the things we use at home too? Things like soap, toothpaste, makeup, and even batteries. Before humans had matches and lighters, rocks were used to help start fires. Now we know all about rock. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. I landed on my foot. Oh, I don't have feet.